Dear students, I am going to start a solution series of the problems given in the book Digital Design 4th edition by Maurice Mano and Michael D. Siletti. So the first problem is list the octal and hexadecimal numbers from 16 to 32. Okay, that means from 16 to 32, these are the decimal numbers, okay, and we have to find out their respective octal and hexadecimal numbers. So, first of all, what we have to do? We have to understand how to convert a decimal number into an octal number, okay? Then we will understand how to convert this decimal number into hexadecimal number. And we have to make a list of those numbers, okay? So, First of all, let us see how to convert a decimal number into an octal number. Now, let us assume that we have a number that is suppose 123. Okay, now we want to convert it into suppose octal number. And what we will do? We will divide this number by 8. Octal means base 8. So, divide it by 8 and the remainder is 3. Next, again we will divide it by 8, 7. So, we cannot divide it for any further. So, we have to write in this way. Okay, 173. That means 123 in decimal is equal to 173 in octal. Now, let us see how to find out the hexadecimal number. So for finding the hexadecimal number, we have 123, we have to divide it by 16, we have to give here 7 and the remainder is 11, 10 is A and 11 is B. Okay, so we have to write like this, so 123 in decimal equal to 7 B in hexadecimal, okay. So in this way we have to find out the hexadecimal and the decimal and the octal numbers. Now let us make the list from 16 to 32. Okay, we have to find out representation of these numbers. So now let us first make a table from 16 to 32. So now let us find out for 16. Okay. For finding out 16, this 16 we have to divide it by 8. So 2 then we have remainder is 0 so in this way we have to write so it is nothing but 2 0 in octal and similarly for the hexadecimal we have 16 by divided by 16 this 1 and remainder is 0 so we have to write it as 1 0 you have to find out accordingly all the remaining numbers so let me write down it quickly similarly we can find out the numbers for hexadecimal numbers like this so we have converted all the decimal numbers from 16 to 32 okay 16 to 32 into their respective octal and hexadecimal numbers now i will show you one shortcut okay how to find out this in case of octal number we have eight digits from zero to seven seven okay these are the eight digits in octal number system for 8, we will write here 10911. Then 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7. Okay. This is nothing but this one is nothing but 8. Okay. 8 plus 0 is this one will be 8. 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. So in this way you can find out. Okay, this one is 7. Okay, this one is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This one is 23 and so on. Then now you can compare with this table. Okay, now see this one is 23. Okay, so we can see that 23 is 27 in case of octal. And now let us find out for the hexadecimal in hexadecimal number system we have 15 digits so we have these are the 16 digits used to write out the hexadecimal numbers okay after this we'll have 
then 1a, 1b, 1c, 1d, 1e, 1f. Now let us find out the numbers. Let us find out what this is, what is the decimal representation of this hexadecimal number. This is nothing but 25. So how to find out? This is one, this one is nothing but 16. These are the hexadecimal representation. Okay. So this is nothing but 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. This is 25. So now let us check from the table. This 25 is this one. Okay. 25. Now you see in hexadecimal it is 19. So in this way you can go ahead. Next will be 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2. Like this. Okay. Now let us see the next part of the problem okay using a b and c for the last three digits list the numbers from 8 to 28 in base 13 that means now we have to make a list of the num decimal numbers 8 to 28 and we have to write the res their respective base 13 numbers okay so if we uh, see base of 13 we'll have from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then we have A, B, and C. Because in the question it is given that the last three digits are represented by A, B, and C. That is, this is nothing but 10, this is this B is nothing but 11, and this C is the representation of 12. In These are the decimal number system. Okay, in decimal number system we write like this, and in the case of base 13 we will write like A, B, and C. So after that, we have made a table, this is uh, nothing but 12, for 13 what we will write 1 0, for 14 we will write 1 1, then for 15 we will write 1 2, then for 16 we will write, that means this 1 is nothing but 13, 13 plus 3, it is 16, so 13 plus 4, it is 17 and so on. So in this way we can fill up this table, that is in the question it is, uh, it is given to write the decimal numbers 8 to 26 and their respective base 13 numbers so 8 will write it as it is that is 8 then 9 then 10 10 what will write it is a a b c then for 13 what will write 10 zero then one 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 two one three 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, 8, 1, 9. After 9, we have 1A, one 1A, one 1B, one 1C. One then for 26, we'll write this 20. So now let us verify this table. Okay. By dividing this number, decimal numbers by 13. Now let us assume this 20 number. Okay. So 20. What we have to do? 20 divided by 13. It is 1, then the remainder is 7. So how we have to write? Like this. So 1, 7. So 20 we are writing it as 1, 7. Then now let us take again this one. 25. Now let us take 25. So 25. 25 divided by 13. Okay. 13, 1 times, then remainder is 12. So this 12 is written as C. C. So we have to write like this. So it is 1C. 25 equal to 1C in base 13 system. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Okay, thank you.